Welcome back everybody. In this video, I wanted to continue our discussion on pointers, but now I specifically wanted to talk about passing pointers to functions. And this really comes back to the whole idea of whether things are passed by value or by reference or by pointer, and just to clear up all that confusion. So what exactly does that all mean? Well, let's just start off with the, um, the pre-knowledge that in C, everything is passed by value. What that means is that the value of an argument is copied into a parameter. So this is important to understand the difference between an argument and a parameter, which is why I try to be very clear. If we have a function such as, well, let's say double value. So it's gonna take an input and it's going to double it. And let's say it takes an int x. And we're not gonna worry about the return type right now. This is a parameter. When we call this in our code and we pass in some value or variable or something, let's say we have int x equals 10 and we pass in x here. This is an argument. The value of x gets copied into this x. There are two x's. These don't have to be named the same thing. So for example, I could name this one y and pass in y. It doesn't matter because they're two separate variables. What happens is we have an x local to this function and then we have the x in our main program. And what happens is we have the value 10 here with x that gets copied over to this x and is given the value here. So in this code, if we do this, x equals x times two, sorry, it's kind of hard to draw an asterisk. What happens here is the value of x here is changed to 20, but this does not go back and change the value here because the value was passed in and not a reference to the value or anything like that. So some different languages such as like C Sharp, you can pass things by reference. And if you pass like an object, it's passed by reference. Meaning if you change that object's values, it's going to be seen here because it's referencing the same area of memory. The closest thing to that in C is passing pointers. So for example, if in this situation, before we go into pointers, if we actually wanted to change the value of x here, we would have to return an integer, and then we would have to return x, and then we would have to assign that return value to x again. So x is now double x. That gets passed in as 10. It's doubled to 20. Then we return that and then we assign that back to x to equal 20. Much more complicated. If we just wanted to use pointers, it would be a lot more simple. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. Since we're gonna be working with a pointer, we no longer need to return a value. So this is going to become a void function, meaning there's no return type. And instead of taking an integer x, we actually need to take an integer pointer, which is going to look like that. That's how you say, we have an integer pointer and we named it x. And instead of passing x, we need to pass the address of x, which is done with the address of operator, the ampersand or however it's pronounced. <laughs> so in this situation, any changes we make to x here is going to be reflected here because they're pointing to the same thing. So what's happening is we have this value x in our main function, it has the value 10, we create a pointer to it. So let's just say this is a pointer and it points to this value. We give this pointer value, whatever the memory location is, to this parameter. My camera just died so I have no idea where it just left off, but now we're going to have to use the indirection operator to change the value of x. And um, basically what we're doing is we're creating a new variable x which also points to the same location. So we said we have two variables, the x here, and then we have the pointer passed in, which x gets. It's kind of confusing. Maybe it'd be clearer if we use two different variable names. So for example, if we used y here, 
our variable would be y. We would be passing in the address of y, which would get copied into the value for x. So this, this illustration is kind of confusing, and one of the best ways to understand it is to just do it in code, which we're going to be doing in the next